Welcome to day three of the Great Norfolk Broads Adventure 7. It's <sighs> cold this morning and it's very bloody early as well. It's uh, just gone five o'clock in the morning. And I am here up and about freezing outside enjoying my first cup of uh, nectar <laughs> in the morning um, and uh, yeah the, the only reason I'm up at this time in the morning is because it's um, I'm heading south today I'm going to go across Braden Water I don't know where I'm, I'm actually going to where I'm heading to but I'm going to go south uh, so yes uh, it should be about, um, I think low water is about um, 8 o'clock, something like that, just past 8 o'clock. Um, sunrise is due about 6 o'clock, um, so I'm kind of hoping, um, no, no, sorry, I'm getting this wrong. It should be about half 7 low water, slack water, it's about half 7. I've not had any coffee yet, I'm still... Not fully conscious. <laughs> so half asleep. Um, slack water is about half seven. Sunrise is just after six o'clock. So yeah, um, I'm up. I get myself all organised. It's um, it's a very very cold morning this morning, but it's actually supposed to be the nicest day of the week today. We're actually supposed to get some sun today. So. And the temperature is supposed to be not too bad once the sun gets up. So, uh, looking forward to that, I think. Um, so yes, it's. Uh, I think it's going to be another sort of relaxing, uh, chilling sort of uh, day to day. It's just turning into that type of adventure. Um, I think the same thing uh, kind of happened um, last year as well. Um, it, it, it seems that the first adventure of every year is 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 more sort of um, sedate and calm and not really happening um, as I sort of uh, just relax and uh, just completely and utterly chill. <laughs> like I take a chill pill here. You know? I just cruise down the river for a wee bit and I'm moored up, you know. And I, uh, have a couple of beers and I just sit there and just, I, I, I was literally, I, I literally sat on the boat yesterday when I came back from um, dinner for, it must have been about two or three hours, just sitting there with cups of tea, we can, just watching the world go by. Bloody brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, Sorry I didn't come back last night, but uh, yeah, I was, uh, I, I didn't have that much to drink last night, um, uh, but I did have a beautiful meal in the, in the bridge and um, it was, uh, I, I had a, a, a fish cake, which was very delightful, um, quite surprising actually, because it, it was the first fish cake that, this is going to sound weird, but it was the first fish cake that I had that I actually tasted the fish. <laughs> Usually when you have a fish cake, I never really taste the fish, but it was a, a good strong taste of fish. It was really, really nice. Um, and then I decided to try um, the lasagna. You know, apparently the, the Bridge Inn uh, at Ekel is quite famous for its homemade lasagna. Um, so I tried, I decided to try that and um, yeah, that was a really nice bit of lasagna by the way. Properly, properly thick and meaty, you know. Usually a lot of lasagna from these places, you know, they're a bit flat and substanceless, you know, and it's more cheese sauce to hide the fact there's nothing there, you know. But yeah, that was a proper, proper bit of lasagna, so I'm really, really glad I had that, you know. Very, very tasty. Uh, so yes, um... And, and, and that was it. And like I said, I, I literally just had a, a couple of pints of the wherry uh, and I came back to the boat and I just 
totally relaxed. Um, the, the weather actually cleared up uh, quite nicely um, uh, yesterday afternoon uh, after the sun. It was a really miserable morning, it really was. So it, it was nice to see it clear up um, uh, yesterday afternoon. You know, it got a wee bit warm, it got a bit sunny, you know, and it was, it was just, it was just fantastic sitting there watching the, the, the world go by, you know. Um, really, really good, really, really good. Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> no, I've not been around very much, um, but uh, I, I don't even know how the footage is going to um, come out because um, there's not really any place to put the camera as such. So I'm kind of hoping that what I'm doing with it is actually going to be good enough um, so that I can actually get some movie footage. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's. Uh, it's, 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 it's just one of these uh, adventures where not a lot is happening, you know, and it's good that it's been like that, you know, it's, it, it's just totally relaxing, chilling, you know, and just uh, completely unwinding, you know, and this is why I love the broth so much, I really, really do, you know. Anyway, um, I... I have said before, I'm determined not to be doing a lot of rambling, so no rambling. Um, I'll go for now. Uh, just waiting for the sun to rise, which it's getting lighter. It's getting lighter. There's still a wee bit of cloud about, but um, not much, you know, and it's definitely um, chilly. So I'm going to go away, um, sort my, my windows. Um, of the condensation and uh, yeah, get myself organised uh, to head down the river. So, as always, I'll keep you updated. And uh, so, uh, yeah, until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>
Okay, just to let you know, I am on my way. And I'm now not on my way. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yes, uh, I got up in the morning. Um, had a nice cup of tea. Uh, and uh, I was sitting there, I was, I was doing my windows and everything like that and playing them all. And uh, the sun was starting to come, it was getting light and it was beautiful. You know, the sun is just peeking behind the trees there. And it was looking like a going to be a glorious cruise down the river. <clears throat> Fired up the engine, let the ropes go, backed out of that space. Uh, not a problem. Just left Acol and I hit a complete thick fog bank and it was like, oh my god, you know, literally, I, I, I was like struggling, really struggling um, at uh, certain points and I was like hanging out the window, I was trying to um, keep an eye on the bank and see which way the bank was going so that I knew which way the river was turning and it was just like, you know, this is a really bad idea. Um, so what I've done is, um, since Stokes Bay wasn't very far away and there was, uh, I kind of figured there'd be spaces at Stokes Bay because um, Acol wasn't full. I uh, came down and there is actually uh, a number of spaces um, in uh, Stokes Bay. Came into Stokes Bay and it was like the first space I saw, just grab it, just spin that boat round and get in, get moored up um, and just like totally wait for the sun to burn off the fog um, because con to continue down the river um, would have just been, it would have been stupid, foolish and idiotic. Um, I possibly should have, you know, the minute I left Acol and hit the fog bank I should have just turned around and uh, gone back to Acol and moored up. But you know what it's like, fog, you know, it can be a bit thick, you know, it can thin off, it can be thick. And it was just like, well, when I hit a thick bit, I thought, oh, it'll be fine, you know, it'll burn off, it'll thin off, it'll just, you know, it'll be nothing. But no, it really, really wasn't, so. Um, I've been sensible, um, and uh, I've moored up again, um, and I'm going to wait for it to burn off. To tell you the truth, I don't know if this means that I'll make um, into a Southern Broads now because uh, it depends how long it's going to take to burn off. Just now, here, it looks fine, you know. Um, as I started mooring up, you know, I could see further, you know, I can see down to the moorings at the other end of Stokes Bay now, but um, there's just no guarantee, you know. I mean, I could leave Stokes Bay and hit another thick fog bank, and it's just like the last thing you want to do is be hitting that fog all the way down to Great Yarmouth, because no, you need visibility down there, you know, especially when you're crossing Braden. I mean, if it's like this over Braden, oh no, thank you. So yeah, um, I've, that's me moored up. Um, so I've no idea what's going to happen today, actually now. So the important thing is, is to go get a cup of coffee and uh, wait and see what happens with the, the fog um, and with, with, uh, with the sun. Um, Fair Marquis, uh, that's a... Uh, um, Norfolk Broads Direct new, um, brand new boat, Fair Marquis, I think that's uh, one of the first hires of it. Um, I hope I didn't disturb you too much, Fair Marquis, uh, this morning. Um, but uh, yes, it was, yeah, had, had to be sensible, had to be sensible. That was, uh, that would have been a bit stupid. So anyway, that's the update. Um, I have left Acol and I am now back at Stokes Bay and I am going to go and have a cup of tea and not go anywhere until the mist lifts. Depending on how long that takes, um, will depend on whether I get down to, go down to um, Great Yarmouth. Um, if it had been a low air draft boat, a centre cockpit, I wouldn't have thought twice, but I'm eight foot 10, um, and uh, the current is still currently going out. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Anyway, that's the update. Um, so uh, until I've got something more to update you with, I shall uh, I'll keep you informed. So until later, bye for now. Cheers.
just thought a wee update for you. I am back on my way. <laughs> I am being so contrary on this adventure. I have no idea what I'm wanting to do with myself. Um, yeah, basically I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I tried to catch the tide. Um, it would have all gone brilliantly except I hit a major fog bank. Stopped at Stokes Bay. Um, had a beautiful bacon sarnie for breakfast while I waited for the fog to burn off. The sun's up and it's oh, it's really quite strong and it's turning into a lovely, lovely day. Um, but it's knocking on half past eight now. Um, and I suppose in theory I should, I would still be able to get under the bridges at Great Yarmouth. I'm quite sure it's probably ten foot clearance down there. Um, the tide is still, the current's still heading south. Um, I'm currently fighting current. Um, but um, I've decided that no, I'm not going to go south today after all. Um, the way things have turned out today, this is supposed to be the best day. Um, but after today it gets, it gets windy, it gets dull, it gets uh, a lot, a lot colder um, and it's really frankly going to be a bit horrible um, for the rest of the week. Um, so I'm thinking, um, since I'm not really going to get the best of the cruising weather, although well, it's good cruise weather today, um, I'm thinking I'm going to stay north again, much like I did last year. Um, which is kind of a repeat of last year in some ways and in, in, in the sense that it was a very sedate adventure last year and I think I'm having a very sedate adventure just on the northern broads this year as well. So um, yeah, um, I'm heading back north. Um, I've just left Stokes Bay uh, and I'm heading up towards uh, Acol. Um, not Obviously not going to stop at Acol um, but I've no idea where I'm going. Uh, what I'm doing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking up the River Ant, although I am a wee bit uncertain as to whether I will get on the Logan Bridge because um, this is quite a tall boat, it's 8 foot 10. Um, the tide's going out, it's getting low tide, so in theory I might get under if I get up there pronto. Um, but if I can't get under there, if the tide turns starts coming in, I'd, I've no idea, I've no idea. I'll just have to wait and see. But yes, in short, I'm staying north again. <laughs> I've, really not, I've really not got a clue what I'm doing, but I am loving it. It is brilliant. So uh, yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. That's where I'm going. So uh, as always, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers.
Okay, just a little wee update for you. <laughs> the weather is gorgeous. I can't believe the change in weather from not only yesterday, but from this morning. It has turned into a glorious, glorious day. Um, I had a very, very sedate cruise um, coming up. Obviously, I was fighting the current, so I just basically stuck it to 2,000 revs and I cruised up about 4.8 miles an hour, just taking my time. Chilling, relaxing and absolutely loving being out on the rivers and that's what it's all about and I did say that it's turning into one of those types of adventures uh, as well so I'm just like sort of oh that's brilliant anyway I am currently moored up as you can see uh, lots and lots of uh, boats down there you probably might not recognize this particular state of moorings but if I turn around there yep I'm back at St. Bennett's. <laughs> now, this could be potentially, no, no, it's not going to be a potentially bad idea at all. Um, but after my last visit um, at St. Bennett's, um, yeah, I'm not visiting back there at night for a very, very long time. But um, I do like to visit St. Bennett's. It is very interesting. And considering what happened last time um, where <laughs> I actually got very very freaked out by whatever is in there um, I'm not going to do another midnight visit so don't worry uh, or yeah uh, but I am going to stop over have a cup of tea stretch the legs go for another wee wander I'm thinking I might actually take a walk out to the cross because I've never actually walked out to the cross before the weather is glorious, it's beautiful, it's nice and warm, there's hardly any wind whatsoever. So if I'm going to do the walk out to the cross, today is actually a good day to do it. So that's what I'm thinking. So here I am, I'm back at St Bennett's, I'm going to go visit the Abbey, I'm going to take a walk out to the cross, maybe. And uh, yeah, and then after that we'll see where we go after that. So um, that's the latest, um, hope all's... Um, Everything's going okay so far. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll keep you updated. So until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers.
just a little wee update. I have not crashed into the bridge. But neither did I go under the bridge. <laughs> no. The gauge uh, was reading 8.4 um, at the first gauge. I went up to the second gauge and it was still reading 8.4, possibly 8.5. Um, and I'm 8.10. Um, now, I know boat yards sort of slightly overemphasize their boat, um, and I know that the London Bridge boat um, gauge is slightly out, and I also know for a fact that this boat will go under London Bridge. But to tell you the truth, um, I was I went up to the second uh, gauge and I approached the bridge and I was looking at it and I just wasn't confident and I was not going to chance it, you know, I wasn't just going to squeeze under because I mean while it's a higher boat, I'm still responsible for it, you know, and I wouldn't like if somebody borrowed my car and then tried to take it through a narrow lane and scratched it or scraped it, you know, I mean that would just be like, no, no, I am not going to end up plastered all over the Norfolk Broads forums or Facebook, you know, absolutely not, no. So uh, yeah, I went up, I went close, I had a wee look and I decided no, I, I, I wasn't confident and I wasn't going to chance it. Um, so I just uh, backed off, turned around and I'm heading back down the ant. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the uh, foot of the ant and I'm going to turn left um, back along the viewer um, and then left again back up the... Um, um, with a fern and um, I might check out um, Womack Water, you know, um, I'll maybe have a wee look at the island, see if the island's available um, in this lovely day, it might actually be a lovely wee morning on the island. So uh, yeah, not entirely sure um, where I am going to go, but I'm thinking I'll at least go and have a look at Womack Water. Um, worst comes to the worst, I could maybe go up to um, Portaheim and uh, try Nordos, you know, because uh, that's supposed to be quite good and I've not tried that yet, so yeah, I've got some choices yet, so uh, uh, that's the update, unfortunately, it's uh, no Southern Broads uh, on this trip and it looks like no River Ant on this trip, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so that's the update, I shall keep you informed of the uh, progress for the day, so uh, until later, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon, bye for now, cheers! Last few days I've been afraid that I might drift away So I've been telling old stories, singing songs That make me think about where I came from That's the reason why I seem so far That I needed losing Found others on the way I have tried and I've kept on trying Stolen dreams, there's no denying I've traveled hard, my conscience flying Somewhere with the wind Let me tell you that I love you That I think about you all Caledonia, you called me, and now I'm going home. And if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had.
shaken and the kisses flowed, then I will disappear. Let me tell you that I love you and that I think about you all the time. Caledonia, you're calling me and now I'm Caledonia's been everything I've ever had. Okay, just a little wee update for you. I am here at uh, Womack Steve. Um, came down the River Bure, up the River Thurn. Down Womack Water, I nipped into the island. I was curious. Um, I was kind of wanting to uh, spend the night on Womack Island. It would have been really nice. I uh, spent the night there once before and it was fantastic. Unfortunately, there were two boats there already, um, both rather large, um, so definitely no space for my um, 35 footer in there as well. So that was a shame. Um, there's a possibility they might leave later, it's still quite early, um, so what I've decided is I've come down to Womack Steed, I'm going to go for a wee wander, have a wee look at the shop, um, and just basically spend a couple of hours here while I try and decide what I'm going to do. Um, what a lovely wee mooring, and the weather has turned out to be absolutely beautiful, it is fantastic, not cold at all, lovely and sunny, the wind's just on the right side of um, mild. So yes, that's the update so far, um, turning into quite a nice sedate day actually considering all the plans went to pot this morning without fog, but uh, yes, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for a wee wander, have a wee uh, check out of the, the shop, maybe take a wee wander into Ludham and uh, see where the day ends up. Whether I'm staying here tonight, I've no idea. I might go for a wander, have a cup of tea, uh, decide to move on, might try and take a look at the island later, or I might just go and uh, um, moor up um, somewhere else, maybe go up to Potterheim or something like that, because um, uh, I do quite fancy trying that Nardos, or, or Nardos, or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, I'm not, I, no idea if I'm staying here for the, the night or not, or if I'm moving on later. But we will discover that and figure that out for ourselves later. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go away, get myself organised, have a wee wander, and as always, I shall keep you updated on the events of the day. So, uh, yeah, until later, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Cheers!
another hustle just to, just to make it big and rock away, rock away. Oh, rock away, rock away. This girl looks so pretty to me, like it always did. Oh, like the Spanish city to me, when we were kids. Your girl it looks so pretty to me, just like it always did.
Okay, just a little wee update for you. <laughs> I am on Womack Island once more. Oh yeah. Um, I left the uh, Womack Stave. Uh, I came up, I was like, oh, I don't know what I was wanting to do. I had a wee wander into Ludham. Very lovely wee village. Very, very small, but lovely wee village. We walk around the wee shop. Came back to the boat. And it was like, uh, well, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, you know, actually, I'll have a wee... Uh, I didn't want to spend the night uh, down at the stave. Um, I really had hoped to get into... Um, the island because uh, I enjoyed myself so much the last time I was here um, I think it was on um, Sonnet and uh, took a wee cruise up here and Fair uh, uh, Entrepreneur was here a uh, rather large boat um, and basically I, I, I just said to them I said look excuse me for uh, bothering you um, but uh, are you planning on staying here off for the night or are you going to be moving on just basically finding out you know what their plans were and uh, they said well we're actually moving in half an hour I said oh well that's okay I'll just take a wee sort of gentle cruise uh, around the island and uh, when you're ready to go I'll just nip into your space and I went no problems by the time I'd done a complete one circle um, at tick over speed um, they were just pretty much left so uh, I came in here, moored up and that's me for the night actually um, all set up for the evening for another excellent, quiet, peaceful, um, serene evening um, on the uh, Womack Island just me and the ducks <laughs> um, so yeah um, I've got myself a wee bottle of wine, chilling, sitting out on the back and uh, in the sunshine which is glorious today and because of the trees on either side of us and the bend in the river, lovely wee sun trap, you know, and it really is fantastic. Got the t-shirt on and everything now. So uh, I think I'm set up for a most wonderful evening indeed. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be back. That is definitely the end of the cruising. I'm not going to be going anywhere. This is where I'm spending my night. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be back later on. So I will say that is the end of day three of the Great Norfolk Bros Adventure 7. Um, I had hoped to go south uh, today. That was one reason why I got up so early in the morning. I've kind of been all over the place, not really sure of what's happening. Uh, obviously with the mist and the fog this morning, that kind of scuppered my plans. I could have still gone down south, but um, I decided, no, I'll, I'll, I'll stay north. I'll, I'll, I'll have a northerly adventure only. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm getting up the ant, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, I might try again tomorrow, um, but we'll see what time I set off uh, about what happens. So, yes, that is the end of day three for all intents and purposes. Uh, if you have been watching, thank you very much. Uh, I know it's a very quiet, sedate sort of adventure, this one. You know, not a lot's been happening. I've really got no idea what I'm doing um, every day. Sometimes even from one hour to the next, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just basically doing boating at its best, jumping behind and just going where the water takes me which has been great so yes um that's the end of day three uh, i hope you'll join me in day four it's probably going to be another sedate not really sure what's happening kind of day so we'll i'll see how it goes so uh until tomorrow um or until i've got something more to update you with later um thanks for watching uh and uh i'll speak to you soon so bye for now cheers <laughs>